All right, now here is a brilliant feature on Samsung Galaxy phones, which not many of us are using. I'm talking about a feature through which we can conveniently share massive quantity of images or videos which are in large sizes conveniently to other people. This is called link sharing feature on Samsung Galaxy phones. I know you would have guessed it, but I'm sure not many of you guys are using this feature because this is not visible when you share the files from your gallery or from My Files application. For some reason, Samsung has placed this feature inside the quick share application, which they shouldn't have done in my opinion, because we don't even see this feature while sharing the files. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's open gallery. I will select a few images and videos here. I'll tap on share. Now here we get to see nearby share option and then we have got quick share and other applications to which we can share. Now we will have to tap on quick share to go to link sharing feature. Again, this is not visible even on this quick share page. Now we will have to tap on this icon share in an app. Now we get to see this copy link option. So we have to go through two to three steps to get to this copy link option. Come on, Samsung, you need to make this cool, useful feature accessible easily on the phone. Now, let me just show this feature on One UI 2.5 on this Note 9, where it was easily accessible. I will select a few videos or images here. I'll tap on share. Now here you see share as link. We have nearby share, we have got quick share. All these three options are right here and it is easily accessible. We can tap on share as link and all these images, videos which we have selected will be uploaded to this link and the link can be shared on the application. This is how it was on One UI 2.5. But now on 4.1, we do not see this option right on the sharing screen. We could even add link sharing application icon on the home screen or on the app screen, which gives us a direct access. But now on One UI 4.1 or One UI 4.0, we do not have similar accessibility to this feature. We will have to go through two to three steps to reach link sharing feature. Now, once the link is copied, you can share it with anybody you want. You can send it on a messaging platform or you can send an email. The link can be sent on any of these applications. The receiver can tap on the link to download all the files that you have shared. If the receiver is having a Samsung phone, it actually works better. It opens up on quick share platform itself. It is much easier to download individual files on a Samsung phone. And if you're sending it to a non Samsung user, the receiver will be able to open the link on the browser. As you can see, this is the Xiaomi phone. I have this link which I have already created and shared. I'm able to open this link on the browser and here on this browser, we can download all these files. Now let's see how it looks on computer. As you can see, I have shared this link on Gmail. When I open this link, we can see linksharing.samsungcloud.com website is opening up. Here I can select preferred files and then download it. Now let me go to settings and search for link sharing. As you can see here under quick share settings, we have got link sharing history. Here it is mentioned the maximum size that we can send in one link will be 5 GB. This is amazing. We can easily share bigger files up to 5 GB through just one link. When we tap on link sharing history, we will get to see the received files as well as the sent file history here. When we tap on a particular shared image or video, we have a few options here at the bottom. We have got QR code. When I tap on this, it says scan the QR code to get the link. So if you want to get the link for these files, we can get it right here by scanning this QR code. Then we have got share in an app option. We have got download all option and stop sharing option as well. When you tap on stop sharing, the file that you have shared will be immediately stopped. The other person to whom you have shared will not be able to access it once you stop sharing it. Now this validity for these files will be about two days from the day you share the files. As you can see on the top, it shows available until so and so date. This feature is just brilliant. I use it more often. You guys let me know whether you are using this feature on your phone effectively or not. Do drop a comment. 
There are many other third party applications like vShare, etc., where we can share the links, we can upload the files and share the link with others. But this is an inbuilt feature inside Samsung Galaxy phones, which I think we should consider using it rather than going for a third party application. That is just my opinion. You guys let me know what do you think about this feature. If this video was useful to you, be sure to smash that like button. And if you want to watch some useful contents like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.